Greta Garbo was a Swedish actress who started out in silent features at the cusp of Hollywood's golden age before eventually becoming one of the biggest movie stars of the 30s. In 1941, she unceremoniously retired from the entertainment industry in her mid-30s. After this, she lived a life of seclusion in Manhattan in the years leading to her death many decades later. In those years, she became a legend around the area and was often spotted walking around. But she chose to remain out of the spotlight after her 1941 retirement and never again returned before her 1990 death. Many years after her death, some personal letters were revealed that shed light on the mysterious star's life. Join Faxverse as letters reveal the secrets of Greta Garbo's mysterious private life. Greta Garbo passed away in 1990, after having retired from the entertainment industry in 1941. In the years between her retirement and her death, she lived an incredibly mysterious and isolated life in Manhattan. Though she was often spotted publicly, not much was known about what the actress was really up to. She was never married during her life and seemingly never worked after her retirement. Her mystery only made her that much more of a legend, and she remained a celebrated figure in the years after her death. A few decades after her passing, a series of letters were uncovered from the 1930s and 40s that revealed a good deal about what Greta was up to in the years after her retirement. Though these letters didn't reveal everything, they did suggest that Greta was never entirely satisfied with her Hollywood fame and would have preferred to live a life of seclusion in the Swedish countryside. She was born and raised in Sweden, and that's where her remains reside. But she spent the majority of her life in America. After choosing to end her days of Hollywood stardom, Greta moved to Manhattan and spent her remaining decades there. But after her retirement, she wrote letters to her friends in Sweden, expressing she wished she could be back there. It remains uncertain what kept the actress in America or why exactly she retired from show business. The letters also revealed that Greta did indeed spend most of her time alone, claiming she would often talk to herself to pass the time. She apparently enjoyed taking walks on the beach alone and preferred spending her time in isolation as much as possible. She never married and never had children. Though she was romantically involved with a few figures over the course of her life, her sexuality remains just as mysterious as most of the actress's other attributes. Greta Garbo's final film was 1941's Two-Faced Woman, and the letters also revealed that Greta wasn't entirely happy with some creative decisions that had been made on the picture without her approval. This may have been another part of why she chose to call it quits on the entertainment industry. Following the unceremonious release of the feature, the actress chose to retire after having starred in nearly 30 pictures over 15 years. She continued living in Beverly Hills for a period of time before relocating to Manhattan. Even during the height of the actress's fame, she was notoriously aloof. She didn't like doing interviews and never answered fan mail. The Golden Age actress liked to let her work speak for itself. During Greta's decades as a mysterious legend living in New York City, fans walking the streets could often spot her. These appearances became the stuff of legends, and the actress even sometimes turned up in crowds in the background of photographs taken within the city. Fans cherished these sporadic appearances, as these were the only appearances the actress deigned to make in the years between her retirement and death. Greta only worked in the industry for 15 years, though she remained alive for nearly five decades after her retirement. She did manage to make an incredible impression on audiences, though. Greta remains a mystery, and people are still trying to figure out what exactly made the beloved star tick. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like, and subscribe to Faxverse if you haven't already, and stick around for a lot more about Greta Garbo. Greta was born in Sweden on September 18, 1905. As a young woman, she worked in a barber shop while studying acting at a nearby institution called the Royal Dramatic Theatre Acting School. In 1924, a director named Martis Stiller discovered Greta and cast her in a film called The Saga of Gosta Berling. Following that appearance, she continued appearing in films under the director's guidance for a few years before eventually coming to Hollywood. Louis B. Mayer of MGM brought her to Hollywood. At the insistence of the infamous studio head, Greta learned English and altered her appearance slightly to appeal to American audiences. She lost a little bit of weight, straightened out her hair, and had her teeth straightened. After this, she was ready to make her first appearance in a feature film. She made her Hollywood debut in 1926. She appeared in three features that year, Flesh and the Devil, The Temptress, and Torrent. Throughout the 20s, she starred in 11 silent features for MGM, the final one being 1929's The Kiss. By that point, sound was being introduced to motion pictures, 
and it remained to be seen whether or not the Swedish actress would have the voice to pull off continued stardom. Thankfully, she did. By the 1930s, Greta's English had become good enough that she was able to continue her career once sound became the norm in film. She first revealed her voice to the public in Anna Christie, and the film proved Greta could remain a selling point in the age of sound. She went on to appear in several more hit pictures during the early 30s, including Matahari and Grand Hotel. By 1933, Greta's star power had risen so considerably, she was given an unprecedented deal with MGM that saw her not only earning more money, but also having a greater level of control of her own projects. Despite this, the previously mentioned letters that were posthumously revealed expressed that Greta wasn't happy with decisions that were made beyond her control on her final picture. The final picture was the aforementioned Two-Faced Woman. Critics received the risque comedic film poorly, and it served as the perfect opportunity for Greta to abandon Hollywood. Many give the failure of that movie sole credit for causing Greta to leave behind the entertainment industry. But there seems to have been a variety of factors. For one, her star power was waning considerably towards the end of the 30s, and the actress likely didn't feel supported by her own community. Second, the actress simply never felt at home in Hollywood, as expressed in the posthumously revealed letters. After her retirement, numerous people tried to bring her back to the screen, one of whom was Billy Wilder, who offered the actress a part in the feature film Sunset Boulevard. She turned it down, choosing instead to remain out of the spotlight. A few years later, she relocated to Manhattan and made her removal from the entertainment industry permanent. Technically, her final on-screen performance was in a 1974 film called Adam and Eve. The film was set in New York City and featured several establishing shots of Manhattan. One of the establishing shots, incidentally, happened to include Greta Garbo, though the inclusion wasn't purposeful. In 1955, Greta was given an Honorary Academy Award. It was her first and only win, having been nominated four times but never taken the award home. By this point, the actress was already becoming a legend in her own time, and was well on her way to becoming the incredibly mysterious figure she ended up being before her death. She died April 15, 1990, at age 84. Despite the fact that she never married or had children, there are a few lovers she was known to have had over the course of her life. The most notable was British fashion photographer Cecil Beaton, though she was also engaged to actor John Gilbert for a period of time. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Greta spent her life in isolation after she retired? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.